This is part two of how to store planner supplies and planner stickers. So today I'm going to be going over the second tier from the bottom, which is actually tier three. And that's going to be notepads, sticky notes, accessories, and planner crafting supplies. So if you haven't seen part one, there will be a link down below to part one. And also if you hit the little eye up at the top in the corner there on the right hand side, there'll be a link there as well to part one. And this is all part of a playlist again on how to store planner supplies and planner stickers. So let's get started. So in keeping with the black and the white theme, let's go up to the next shelf. And I actually purchased some photo boxes. So these are photo boxes and they came from Michaels. They were on sale for $2. And then I had a 20% off coupon off of my entire purchase, which made them like, I think around like a dollar and 60 cents each. So that was a fantastic deal. And also you'll see that I, um, I have them sitting inside of their lids and I actually, you know, I'm a YouTuber, I love watching YouTube and I saw some people, well, I saw one lady in particular and again, I can't remember her name because I watched so many videos. She actually um, had hers in this manner just so it can be open because I'm in and out of these boxes all the time, almost every day. And so it was kind of a pain to open them up and you know, it just never occurred to me to just put the lids underneath, duh. So that's what I did. So this box right here is notepads and I'm always picking up notepads and I'm sure I'm going to get some more. I have lots of notepads from, um, I got them from the, let me get this camera right. Sorry about that y'all. Let me put this on up here so you can see. All right, so we have like, you know, from the uh, Dollar General, Dollar Store, you can get these like any place. You can get them at Michael's. Um, they're always a dollar every place you go. So I have lots of notepads, you guys, lots of notepads. And so I've just been kind of throwing them in here. And I do use my notepads. I have some over on my desk as well. And so I just keep the notepads in here. And when I need them, I could just grab them. And I have it labeled so I know what's in the box. So the labels help out definitely a bunch. And you can see it just slides right back in there. So over in this photo box, I put, oh, let's bring you up here. This is the, uh, I, I call it planning crafting supplies because you know, um, I wanna make things for my planner to save me some money so I can, you know, I'm trying to trick out my planners y'all or bling them out or pimp them out or whatever you wanna call it. So in this little bag, I actually have like my adhesives is what I call it. So I have my adhesives, I have like my tape runners, and I have some Elmer's glue um, in here, and I have my um, E6000, so if I need glues, I know where to go. And then I have some stamps, and I got these, these are like some mini stamps from Michaels also. And um, I, I thought I was going to like them, but you know, um, I'm not sure about that, so I, I probably won't be using these. Maybe I'll give them like to, you know, a little kid so they can play with it. And also in here, this is actually, this container, I'm always looking for ways to recycle things. This container is from um, one of the washi sets that I got. So I kept it and I put, and you know, my stamps fit in here just perfectly. And also I have some cutting um, pieces, accessories. So this little cutting piece, this orange one, it actually goes to my cutter, which is right here. And then I actually, for my X-Acto knife, I have some blades there as well. Which before I put everything together, I didn't know where they were at. So now I know where everything is. Okay, so um, next I bought some kind of, um, I, don't, I think this is like called floss or thread, threads or whatever, because I want to try to make some tassels. And since I wasn't ready to make the tassels just yet, I just put them like in some um, snack size uh, Ziploc bags. And uh, I love Ziploc bags, you guys. And But I don't throw my bags away. I reuse my bags. So when I get done with them, even if they have food in them, I wash them out just like I would wash the dishes. Hang them up, let them dry, and then reuse them. So they are, Ziploc bags are good for traveling. They're good for storing your stuff in. And so that's what I have these in. And actually, I think I'm gonna put these bags in a bigger bag so they'll all be contained. 
And then I also had like some, you know, other items to make my tassels and I won't go through all that. Um, these were the labels that I used for the front of these labels. I had some extra ones left over. So I put them in these little um, bags and I got these bags. I got a hundred of these for, they. I think they were like $2.99. And of course I used the 40% off coupon so you can do the math on those. So those are really good for putting things in. And I bought this for the tassel that I'm gonna make as well. And then I have paper clips. We have lots of paper clips. And the paper clips I got for a dollar at the dollar store and they came in all different colors. I'm not gonna pull them all out. And they come in one container, but again, I just took um, one of the mini bags that I had and I just um, separated them by color so they would be easy to find because I plan on making some paper clips to again pimp everything out. And then this is just a ribbon. You can't see it because it has a rubber band around it, but you'll see some of the other ribbons. He is actually in the wrong spot, but he only cost me 50 cents. Anywho, I digress. And then I have my. Um, my actual uh, tweezers and these are the tweezers that I use when I'm doing planning because you know it's hard to pick up small stickers and put them down um, because you can't see because your fingers are in the way but when you use tweezers it makes it easier and of course I got that from somebody else's YouTube channel that I don't know who it is so don't ask because I don't remember <laughs> okay all right so we're gonna put that back down here you see it slides nicely in here and this little shelf just worked out perfectly for these photo bins now these boxes in the middle you guys are I'm very proud of these and these boxes these boxes actually um, are remnants of uh, from Apple products so if you know anybody that has Apple products they probably kept the boxes because those boxes are great quality and you can store things in I actually went to the Apple store and I asked them about the boxes um, what do they do with the ones that people leave and they said they have to destroy them because they have information on them so it made sense but I'll just show you briefly in the boxes here this one is listed sticky notes and you can see I'm already growing out of this box so I'm gonna have to do things just a little bit different when it comes to storing my sticker notes and I just kind of threw these in here because I just kind of semi got finished with this project a few days ago so it still has a little bit of a way to go you can see there's nothing in this box here and this is accessory so um we may be graduating some sticker notes and this is going to have to come out of here because he doesn't really fit right but so those are sticky notes and of course if you um you recycle yours and you can see these boxes are like super sturdy you guys and so if you ever get any apple products the boxes are just a wait and go when it comes to having extra and I just set them on top of each other um, be, depending because this was the top and this was the bottom and so if you put it you just turn it on the other side you can use that one for storage also if you want a closed box of course you can just use it as one box but I kind of maximize my space here I hope you're enjoying the series so far and if you are make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe and if you have then thank you. So the next part in this series is going to be part three and it's going to actually be on the third tier from the bottom which is actually tier two and it's going to cover writing utensils, miscellaneous items, project life and tools, and then also embellishments. So we'll see you on the next video. So with that, love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.